In this short clip, I will show you how to configure and test the output of a 6 series camera in the Mobotics Hub. First of all, we have to add the camera into the Hub. In this case, I would do it manually to get a little bit faster. Here are my credentials for the camera. Then I select the Mobotics driver here and add my IP address or my host name for the camera. In this case, I want to use HTTPS. In the next step, the Mobotics Hub will try to find the right driver here for this camera. And it's the right one, the Mobotics MDVS. In this case, I'm using an M16. In the next step, they will try to collect all the hardware information like MAC address, configured events, firmware, um, etc. So it's also done successfully. In the next step, I have to choose what kind of options, features I want to use from this camera. In my case, I want to use the outputs, so I activate it here. You can see I can use two outputs, for example, with a connected RS232IO box with via USB or via MX bus to the M16. In the next step, I have to create two groups and add this one here um, into the group. In this case, only for my understanding, I um, added a IoT group here, click on finish. And in the next step, the camera will connect it in a few seconds and also the outputs will be available and online. In the next step, we have to check if the right signal out profiles are written into the camera. It could be that it takes some time or you can also edit manually, but it's very important to use this name for the signal out profiles because the hub is only sending an HTTP or HTTPS API command uh, to the camera to trigger the right output here. So in this case, I have prepared it and added manually. So I need one profile here to switch the output on and want to switch it off and use the right output here. The same for the second output of my rs 232 io box. And that's all what I have to done into in the camera. To show you that it's working, I have wired my outputs into my inputs and told the camera for output one in this example, when the output is triggered, you should show a red frame. And now it's important that we also check it on the hub side. Therefore, we go into the management client. And just for demonstration, I am defining a user-defined event to have something like a soft button in the desk client to check the output. So I name it here M16 output. And now I have to create also a rule to trigger the outputs here. So I went into the rules, add rule, name it output, test for example. Then I have to say, okay, I want to perform an event or an action to trigger the outputs. So here I click on event, click on external events, user defined events and select the M16 output event. It's an external, it's all right. Next step, I don't want to use a time condition here. And now I have to say, okay, what should be done if the soft button or the external event is triggered? In this case, I want to set device output to any state. In this case, I want to do it immediately. The state should be activated and on which, from which output or device should be this one here. In this case, I select the M16 out one out here, add it to the selected list. I could also use output two here or several outputs from other cameras to do the same. In this case, I only try it with the M16 output of the RS2 feature IO box. Click on OK. And then I have to, I can also say, OK, I have no stop action, so the output will be activated permanently. In this case, I want to trigger it only after a time, for example. In this case, I will start the stop action after one second this um, event is triggered and say okay what should be done if this is triggered we have to set again the output state in this case automatically deactivated and i can say okay the output should be triggered for three seconds for example so i have created a rule here and now i can check the functionality in the desk client 
open my test client here. Then I add my camera first of all in a view to see it also. And I have the possibility to create some kind of soft buttons here. In this case, I want to use the user defined event. Therefore, I go to into devices, click on here on my event and pet drag and drop here into my field. When I click on setup, I see the live image. You can see me here. And when I now click here on the M16 output, the output will be triggered and the input will also um, triggered and will show the red frame. When I click here, I got a feedback and the red frame is triggered. So we can also use not some kind of soft button. We can use, also use message events, um, image analyzer, activity sensor, for example, to trigger some outputs. We can also configure it in the camera as a trigger. So, so it's also triggered for one, two seconds in the camera and not um, triggered here from the hub. So we have a lot of possibilities to use the output of our camera.